Good afternoon, I'm Jim Newsman. Today's top stories, the Prime Minister has been arrested for trespassing through a field of wheat. A kitten in London has been jailed for murder and is awaiting trial. Dracula, the fictional public domain character, has been accused of robbery. He denies the charge. This puppy from Liverpool has been sentenced to eight years in prison for tax evasion. In a public statement made by his lawyer, he said, Roof. And finally, Hercules, famous for his impressive strength and amazing abs, has been found guilty of drug possession and steroid use. Those stories and more coming up after today's lesson. If you commit a crime, then you're a criminal. And I, or another police officer, will arrest you and take you to jail. Then you'll go to court for your trial, where a jury might decide the verdict. Are you guilty or innocent? If you're found guilty, then you'll go to prison for a long time. So like, don't... Don't be a criminal. It's rubbish. It is hot. It is really hot. Okay, so if you do a crime, we say you commit a crime. That's the verb which collocates to crime and all of the crimes that you'll learn today. First, let's look at the violent crimes, when someone is hurt or injured. So the word for hurting or injuring someone in general doesn't have to be physical, it could be emotional too. But the word is assault. You might also hear the word battery, and in this case, where someone is physically harmed, there's a physical injury, it's actually both. You can say this is assault or this is battery. That's the name of the crime. But very specifically, there is a difference. Battery is when there is physical harm. That's true of assault, but if there is not physical damage, not a physical injury, Perhaps it's a threat. Perhaps you hurt someone in another way, with words perhaps. That is a type of assault. And we're going to learn a few different types of assault in today's lesson. Okay, let's say that he punches this guy and... And without intention, he kills him. He only wanted to punch the guy, he didn't want to kill him. When you kill someone, without intention, or perhaps through negligence, accidentally. That has a specific name. Manslaughter. It's not gender specific, it's for both male and female. Manslaughter. You commit manslaughter. Remember, we don't say do manslaughter, we don't say do a crime, we say commit a crime. And in this case, he committed it's a regular verb, manslaughter. Okay, with intention. Let's say you want to kill the person. What's the name of that? If you want to kill someone and you kill them, the name of that crime is... Commonly, it's called murder. You commit murder. It's the name of the crime and the verb. He murdered him. Again, it's a regular verb. But in law, it's called homicide. In a newspaper, for example, he committed homicide because it sounds more formal. In conversation, if you're talking about crimes, you would probably say he committed murder or he murdered him. The next crime is about a type of sexual assault. When you force someone to have sex. In Latin languages, um, I believe your word is this or a variation of this. In English, the nearest word is violate, but that doesn't mean um, to force someone to have sex. It's different. That crime is called rape. Commit rape. So that's the name of the crime and it's the verb. That's not the only word confusion with this crime. The person who commits rape is not a raper or a rapper. No, it's rapist. That's the person who commits rape, who rapes. 
The next crime involves setting fire to places, to things. If you set fire to a place or a building or a thing, this crime is called arson. The person is an arsonist. A common mistake I hear from students with that situation, with fire, you don't say put fire on the house or put the house on fire, no. The verb is set. For example, the sentence, the arsonist set fire to the house. Or he set the building, the car, on fire. Two ways of saying it. Okay, the next group of crimes is about stealing. Taking something which doesn't belong to you. In general, when you steal, when you take something which isn't yours, you commit theft. The name of the person is a thief. The thief commits theft. Of course, there are many different types of theft. For example, if you steal something from a house, shop, a building, or a person, with a weapon or a gun, some kind of force. That situation is called robbery. You commit robbery. Notice in this situation, he is stealing with a weapon, with force, with a threat. So that is called robbery. He is a, a robber. And the verb is rob. So a whole sentence could be, he robbed the bank. If you enter a building with the intention to steal something, this one is called burglary. And the person who does it is called a burglar. The verb for this is to burgle, which is a very fun word to say, but definitely don't do it. It's bad. Our next crime happens in the street, in a, usually a public place. When she wants to steal his money, his phone, and she has a knife, this verb is called to mug. She is mugging him. The name of the crime is mugging. She committed a mugging. And maybe you've guessed it, the name of the person who does it is a mugger. Quick differences between these three. For example, you wake up in the morning, your TV is missing. You were burgled. Someone burgled your house. Someone enters your house and they have a gun and say, give me your TV. You were robbed. So yet yeah, this could be, he was robbed, she robbed him, it could be, but more specifically, in a public place, in the street, this is called a mugging. She mugged him. He was mugged in the passive. Try to practice these with your own examples in the comments. So the next thing is maybe a more common crime that probably you've done. Be honest. When you steal something from a shop, whether it's candy or a t-shirt or anything from a shop, that is called shoplifting. And the person is called a shoplifter. The verb, maybe you've guessed it, is to shoplift. It's a regular verb, shoplifted in the past. Question for you in the comments, be honest. I won't tell the police. Have you ever shoplifted? You can be honest, you can tell me. It's just you and me here. Tell me in the comments. What did you shoplift? The next few crimes are about stealing a vehicle, taking control of a vehicle from someone else. When you steal a car, when you take control of that car from someone else, the crime is carjacking. When it's a plane, it's hijacking. The verb is to hijack or carjack. The person who commits that crime is a carjacker or a hijacker. And again, remember all of these crimes, you would say you commit the crime, not do the crime. For example, this person committed a hijacking, not did a hijacking. If someone steals a person, that crime is called kidnap, and that's also the verb. The person who commits the kidnapping is called the kidnapper. 
You might read or hear the expression white collar crime. There's a TV show called White Collar. What are white collar crimes? Let's have a look. The first example of a white collar crime is embezzlement. This is when you steal money which is in your care. For example, you steal money from your company. That's embezzlement. The verb is to embezzle. Again, a fun word to say. And the person is an embezzler. True story. I used to teach a guy who's now in prison for embezzlement. Now, taxes are annoying, but you need to pay them. If you don't pay your taxes, that's called tax evasion. That's the name of the crime. The person who commits tax evasion is called a tax evader. The verb, we would say this person evaded tax or of course committed tax evasion. The next one is about lying in order to get money. You know those emails you sometimes get where they write, hey, my uncle just died, he was a millionaire, and I can share that money with you if you first send me like $100 or whatever. Of course this person is never going to pay you. This is a crime. This crime is called fraud. That's also the name of the person who commits fraud. You could say, this person is a fraud. This email is a fraud. But fraud is not just for those emails. It's for anyone who lies or deceives someone in order to gain something financially or personally. A policeman stops you, says you have committed a crime, and you say, um, maybe just ignore the crime and I'll give you money. This crime is called bribery. The verb is to bribe. Now there's no one word for this person who commits bribery. We don't have a word for that. So an example sentence, he bribed the policeman. Also, you should know that bribe is the verb and the noun. So this money is a bribe. You could say he offered him a bribe, for example, or he took the bribe or he refused the bribe. Does bribery happen in your city? Let me know. I mean, if you've done it, don't probably don't write it in the comments, but does it happen? Let me know in the comments. Let's imagine you know someone's secret and you tell them, I want to tell everyone, but I won't say anything if you pay me lots of money. What's that called? It's called blackmail. That is also a verb. So you can commit blackmail and the person who does it is a blackmailer. So an example sentence could be, he blackmailed him for a million pounds to keep his secret. Okay, you know how the mafia will tell someone who maybe owns a shop, pay us protection money and nothing bad will happen to your shop. This is a crime and this is called extortion. When you take money from someone, usually through force or a threat. So yeah, think the mafia, that's what they do. The verb is to extort. So the mafia is extorting this guy. I know there's a lot of vocabulary here, but remember the best way to learn the vocabulary is by writing it down, making your own examples. Examples which you can easily remember. So make the examples funny or crazy or silly. They're easier to remember than the boring ones. So those are big crimes. What about the small crimes? The small crimes in which you might have to pay some money or spend a day or two in jail, those are called misdemeanors. Those are the smaller crimes. You might just have to pay a little money, a fine. If you break, damage or destroy someone else's property, that is called vandalism. The verb is to vandalize. 
And the person who does it is a vandal. So a common argument, a common debate is, is graffiti vandalism or art? Are they vandals or artists? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Living in London can be quite expensive. So my other job, selling sex. This is called prostitution. The person who does it is a prostitute. You sometimes hear it more informally as a hooker in TV shows and movies most commonly. And again, that's a person who sells sex. If you enter someone's property or a restricted area without permission, this crime is called trespassing. And trespass, that's the verb. You probably know that the person is called a trespasser. So yeah, true story, our prime minister said the naughtiest thing she's ever done was trespassing. She ran through fields of wheat when she was, she's so annoying. When a person commits a crime, a police officer will put handcuffs on that person. That verb is to arrest. The police officer arrests the criminal. Later, that criminal will go to a building where they have to argue that they didn't do anything wrong. They didn't commit a crime. This guy is saying you committed a crime. You did it. So you are guilty. If you're guilty, you did the crime. But you want to say, no, I didn't do this crime. I am, I'm innocent. I didn't commit any crime. I didn't do anything wrong. These guys will hear your story, the other side of the story. They are called the jury. They will make the decision whether you're guilty or innocent. And also this person will make a decision on whether you're guilty or innocent. This person controls the court. They are the judge. We have a word for the decision that is made. The decision of guilty or innocent is the verdict. That's the decision. And they don't say we decided you're guilty or innocent. They say we find you guilty or innocent. So for example, a sentence could be, he was found guilty of robbery. Now what's the punishment? We can talk about the punishment with the word sentence. Sentence is a verb and a noun. So an example sentence could be, and he was sentenced to eight years. Thank you for watching. Let me know about any famous crimes from your country. Who did what and what happened next? Write them in the comments. Remember to like, share and subscribe and hit the bell so you always get a notification of uploads to this channel. Good night.